Today, we're gonna to put the binding on this, what I'll call as a short table runner that we made the other day. We're gonna start by getting some bias strip. Now, I made this out of the same material that we're using for the backing. This is our Quilt As You Go project. I did this by cutting a strip two and a half inches wide and just folding it in half lengthwise and pressing it really well. You wanna measure all four sides of your project first to see how many inches of this bias strip you're going to need. But then also add about 10 inches to that because we're not gonna start just sewing this on. We need an extra tail at the beginning and we're gonna need an extra tail at the end so we can join these final pieces together. And I'll show you when we get to that point. But first, I wanna decide where's, gonna, where's my join area going to be. I don't want it to be right in the center of the project. Your eyes are drawn to that. Not that we'll really notice this, but I want it off center a little bit. I'm gonna start sewing right here. With my bias strip, the raw edge will go against the raw edge of the project. But like I said, I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna leave some out. I'm gonna leave about five or six inches of it hanging out there before we actually start. So I'm gonna start in this area. We are still using our walking foot on the sewing machine because we're going through so many layers. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sew a seam with a quarter inch seam allowance all the way down to the corner. Now, when I get to the corner on my sewing machine, you're not gonna see, but I'm gonna show you this ahead of time. When I get near the end, I wanna place a little dot a quarter inch in from, both, from this very corner. Quarter inch up, quarter inch in. I'm gonna place a little dot there. I'm just using an ink pen. I will sew all the way up to that dot. Then I'll rotate my project and sew off the corner and then we'll pull it out of the machine. Corners are really simple, but it's very, it's important that you do it the right way. So let's start lining this up. Quarter inch seam. Okay, now I'm approaching the corner here. And like I said, now I'm just gonna eye it, but you wanna get, get a real measuring tape out and do this. Measure a quarter of an inch in and up and make yourself a little dot. That is where I will stop sewing. And I'm there. So when I do that, I'm gonna raise the presser foot, I'm gonna rotate because I'm gonna sew right off the end, right off the corner and cut the thread. All right, so that was great. Let me show you what we have. We've got this nice stitch down here. Now we've reached the corner. I have not gone all the way. I stopped a quarter inch short. So what we wanna do is take this bias tape, bias strip, and we wanna fold it up at a 45 degree angle. Now, where I stopped sewing, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be a guide here. See, that folds nicely into a nice 45 degree angle. Then we're going to take this part and fold it over. Let me grab all this extra over here. We're gonna fold this over to make that match the end right here. We did a little corner and then we folded straight over. So this is the next part of this. And I'm just gonna put a pin in this just so it doesn't move from the time I take it here to the sewing machine. So I'm turning now and look, I am again going to sew a quarter inch seam along this raw edge. I'm going to start right here, right on the end at a quarter inch in. Did a little bit of a back stitch there. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna sew quarter inch all the way down to the next corner. And again, I'm almost at the corner, so I'm gonna make myself a little, a little dot here, a quarter inch in and a quarter inch up. I don't want to sew beyond that point. And I'm right there. I'm gonna rotate it. I'm gonna sew right off the end and cut the thread. So now we've reached another corner and it's the same story. I'm gonna fold this up so it makes a nice 45 degree angle here, you see that? And then I'm going to fold all of this down, just line it up, just line it up with the edge there. And so here is where I will continue my next seam with a quarter inch seam allowance right here. Next corner, I'm gonna stop a quarter inch short, And I'm there, and I will sew off the edge. All right, we're getting there. So here's the last corner. Again, I fold it up to make this nice 45 degree angle. And then I fold the bulk of this back down toward me and make it even with that edge, okay? Oh, sorry, this is this is corner number three. I thought I said that was the last corner, it's not. 
Now this will be the last corner. 45 degree angle up and then fold it down. Now I'm only going to do a little bit of stitching here. I'm just going to secure the corner and then we're going to talk about joining this all together. So we're, we're nearing the end. We have the tail that we started off with and we've got a lot of tail here. I'm going to snip some of that off. I don't need to deal with all of that. So what we need to do is join this piece to this piece, right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to fold this piece back. I'm just going to choose a random spot like right here. And then I'm going to fold this piece to match it, all right? I'm going to leave just a slight space, not even an eighth of an inch really, between those two. And let's press those down. We want to have a good mark on here. We've ironed them one way and we're going to have a plus sign as you'll see here in a second. Now, take the end piece, unfold it, and you can see where I have the fold line here and here. Now, on this piece, I've got the same thing going on, only it's further down here. I have to join these two pieces together. It's a little awkward. Here is the join space right here. And on this same piece here, you may not be able to see in the camera, but that's where the join is right there. So I'm going to match these two pieces together. I'm going to match these two plus signs together. So here's our plus sign here on a, out of that material. And here is our plus sign on this side, right? Now what I'm gonna do is pin this really quick just to keep it from going astray. And I'm gonna draw a line from this corner down to this corner. Okay, that's where I wanna stitch a line. I'm gonna take the whole project up to the table here, and get this under the presser foot. Now in theory, I should be able to just pull this tight, right? This is going to be extra material. I can pull it tight. See, that's all going to join just fine. I'm going to slice off this extra stuff in the inside because I don't need it. And now when I tighten this up, I'm going to, of course, press this again. But my binding is all going to match up. So see, I can finish stitching my line from here down to here. Okay, so we have attached the binding all around this project now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it to the other side. But before we do that, I want to open this up on all of the long straight edges. And I'm going to really steam press this open. I want all of the straight lines here steam pressed really well. Now I'm going to show you. Because when we turn this around, you're going to see the corner. You might not be able to see in here good enough, but the corner is going to be a beautifully mitered corner. So on the back side, we're just going to fold one end down and fold one end over it like that. See, we're going to have a beautiful corner on each one of these. But like I said, really steam press these out first. So that's my next step. Okay, so I've really steam pressed this binding open. That's just my own preference. What we're going to do is, of course, we're going to flip this over and we're going to turn it to the other side. So on our front side, when we turn this over, we're going to do what they call stitch in the ditch. We're going to run a seam between the binding and between my colored strips right in that seam there. That's where we're going to stitch. I choose to start a little further down on the project here. And when we get to the corners, we're just going to fold the corners in each time as we go. And that, my friends, is how you add a binding. This was the Quilt As You Go project, and I think it looks great. So if you do this, send us some pictures of what you've done. We'd love to see it.